Hello everyone, uh, my name is Hjalti Karlsson and I am one of the founders of Karlsson Milker. We are based in New York City and we, you know, we started the company yeah, 20 years ago and um, we work on a pretty wide variety of projects ranging from cultural projects, identities for museums, We've done a lot of music projects, websites, and magazines for Bloomberg, etc., etc. And when we were uh, asked to work on the Art of Cells campaign, we thought it was just a great uh, opportunity to finally learn, I should just say, something useful and uh, and scientific. So our first conversations with our scientist partner, Leo, we would ask him questions, he would come back with very impressive answers, and uh, we basically could have talked to him for hours, it was just so much fun to learn all this, we didn't really know anything about this before, and um, so we were just really uh, excited by the challenge of, uh, of looking at such a complex and microscopic process we learned from Leo about the many specific uh, processes they repeat each week in the lab, uh, basically in order to test and learn about the T-Rex cells' behaviors. It begins with flow cytometry, uh, making it possible to take organic material and harness it digitally with these beautiful scatterplot charts. And in general, we just found these moments when the cells need the digital world very, very interesting and beautiful. We kept imagining the process from Leo's lab as if it were pretty much like happening around us, uh, like a part of a linear microscopic story. And sort of imagining that the cells were the main characters of the story. And so we decided to create this world in a simplified and abstract manner and using tools that allow us to navigate freely in space, like floating among the cells. In the real world, an active view of the cell cultures and the individual experience of one cell is not easily seen by Leo and his team. Nevertheless, Leo, he was able to describe these, uh, these cellular uh, experiences with such color that we felt pretty comfortable using the tools at our uh, disposal to uh, to represent that drama in some way and uh, it is of course very inspiring to hear what is happening in uh, in cell research and the power of the immune uh, system uh, it just continues to impress us the final piece is called thymus.world and it represents the invisible story of the cells as they navigate Leo's lab. A process that owes everything to the thymus, the headquarters of the immune system. Among other things, you will see round, simple forms that reference the T-Rex cells and buzzing clusters that reference the anti-CD3, CD28 beads all swirling around you as you step through Leo's process. So hello again, Leo. Uh, so we finished the project that we worked on uh, that is totally, of course, inspired by your uh, cell research and our time together spent discussing your work and your, yeah, just your aspirations and your hopes for immunology. And we just, yeah, we just really hope that you are engaged by this interpretation of the molecular story playing out in your lab. And we are excited to hear your thoughts. Alrighty, bye for now. Ah, oh, it is. Whoa. All types of particles and proteins. Wow. <laughs> the stuff you want and the stuff you don't. Yeah, this is the immune system, what it sees. You see the cells and their particles sliding and bumping around. <laughs> wow. 
it's amazing. And it's just an invasion. Like I, I think we don't realize how many cells a tiny drop of our blood has. And so this kind of shows you in the smallest possible volume you could imagine. We have all these cells with all these particles, uh, you know, so some good, some bad, like they say. And it's just they dance together and they recognize and they see if they match or they're not a match. And it's a crowded place. And wow, we're like, I feel like I'm immersed in my own blood. I just took a dive in and I get to see what my immune cells see. Uh, Oh, ah, oh, yes, I love this. It's amazing. And the way they capture it, I mean, it's insane. This is so, so cool. It, it felt really great to be able to even virtually shrink myself down to the size of the cells I work with and look around, right? So Carlson the Looker did a really great job there. Like you really feel like you're in it, right? You feel like you're trapped inside a tiny drop of blood and you can see everything like your size even bigger than you, like each cell, each foreign particle, each invader, each cell being redesigned. And so it's just exhilarating because we look, uh, right, we have the cells and we can kind of see them under a microscope, but we can't really see what's going inside the cells, for example. So everything has to do with the genome. I can't really see it. I just imagine it's happening, right? Or even an immune response in your own blood. I can't really look at it, right? I need to take your blood out, take the cells and look at the cells. Yeah, so I think just being able to like, you know, jump into someone's blood, uh, being at the size of a single cell. Uh, that, that, that's just, a, that was a really cool experience. It's just amazing how from a few conversations we had, they captured this inner world so beautifully, so dynamically, so full of color and action. It's really, they get at the heart of the process, right? Of cell division, of cell engineering, of, of fighting off invaders. Uh, and even the colors that go with also the music, right? So of like, there's some some birth sounds, some motion sounds, some like crescendo, like some techno music. I mean, the whole thing is just outstanding. I, I think this is, uh, this is really cool virtual reality experience. Amazing.